What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guys channel. My name's Lloyd. So I get tons of questions from guys every single day asking me, hey Lloyd, how do I prevent girls from flaking on me? Hey Lloyd, how do I get girls to stop standing me up, not showing up, being wish-washy, okay? Because it sucks, man. In this 21st century, freaking everybody's flaking on each other, okay? If you're not getting flaked on by women at all, it probably means you're not talking to them or going out at all or taking any action. So in this video, what I'm going to be teaching you guys, I'm going to be teaching how you how to cut down on the amount of flakes that you're getting. Okay, so I'm going to be giving you, I think, like, like six tips. No, seven. I'm going to be giving you seven tips to basically cut down on the amount of flakes that you're getting. And if you do all of these things, you're going to notice a huge reduction in the amount of uh, girls that are not showing up and a big, big increase in the amount of girls that do show up. Now, when I make plans with a girl right now, like 90%, 80 to 90% chance it's gonna happen. Um, but before well, before I started to do these things, it was like, dude, uh, for a girl to show up on a date with me was like a goddamn miracle. Like I was almost expecting women to not show up. And uh, I don't like being in that position and I don't want you guys to be in that position. So we're gonna talk about that here on this video. Before I do guys, again, here's my live training schedule. I'm gonna put it right here. Basically I'm gonna be in San Francisco very soon. Then I'm gonna go to Toronto uh, and then I'm going to Los Angeles. And after Los Angeles, I'm probably gonna come back to San Francisco and do New York and Miami. So if any of these cities sound like the one that you want me to come to, or if there's a city that you want me to come to that's not listed, just fill out the form down below and we'll get back to you. All right, cool. So the first tip that I'm going to give you to cut down on the amount of flakes that you're getting is if you walk up to a girl and you talk to her and then you get her phone number, talk to her for longer. A lot of guys, what they'll do is they'll be like, hey, what's up, my name's Lloyd, I think you're cute, blah, 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 blah. And the girl's like, oh, cool. And then she gives her, her phone number to him. Um, and the interaction lasted for like a minute. And sometimes these can work out, you know? Sometimes they work great, you know? It just, you just happen to be at the right place at the right time. But typically, that is not going to be as effective as if you talk to her for longer. Like if you talk to her for 10, 15 minutes or something like that, while she was walking to work or while you were walking to get a coffee or something like that, that's gonna be a lot more uh, likely that she's gonna meet up with you because you established a better connection, you guys have better rapport, she trusts you a little more, all of those things, you know? So uh, I would recommend talking to her for longer. Now. When you're talking to a girl for longer, this is not gonna be the only thing that gets her to show up. In fact, a lot of times guys will talk to a girl and they think the interaction goes great. Like they think they meet a girl that's freaking awesome, they feel like they get along, to feel like she's super attracted to them. Um, and then the messaging starts coming and then the girl just kind of starts being flaky. She's not showing up, not being committal, all of those things. So how do you get a girl to uh, actually commit or how do you know she's gonna show up? Well, when you meet her, I would say the best way to know is to see if she'll move with you. If she moves with you from one area to the other, that's a great sign that she's gonna also move with you to another location, which meaning a, a date or a, a time where you guys meet up again, a second meeting, okay? Much more likely that she's gonna do that um, if she moved with you when you met her. Okay, so that's in person. Now let's talk about, let's say you've gotten this girl's phone number or you, maybe she sat down with you or she went to the bar with you or something like that, you got her phone number, um, that's great. Now how do you follow up after you've gotten the phone number, okay? So if you've gotten the phone number, I would say that one of the best ways to, to cut down on the amount of flakes is to start by getting her to say yes, okay? If you can agree to her to a to say yes to, oh, do you like um, do you like wine? Do you like sunshine or rooftops? Do you like outdoors and um, and fresh air? You know, get her get her to saying yes to a few of those questions or something like that is going to make it a lot better, uh, more likely that she's gonna she's gonna meet up with you. So I usually like to try and get the girl's schedule before I send her all of these messages. Meaning that like if I find out what she's doing during the week, if I propose a time on say Thursday or Friday, I kind of already know that she's free on one of those days before I've even asked. Because if you ask, hey, are you free Monday? No. Are you free Tuesday? No. Are you free Wednesday? No. Okay, you've gotten a lot of no's. She's used to turning you down. So you want to get her saying yes at the beginning. So I usually like to ask her schedule and then ask her a question like, hey, do you like sunshine or rooftops, outdoors and nature, those types of things. Usually something that I think she's going to say yes to or something where there, she can't say no to basically like wine or beer um, you know ice cream or coffee you know something like that okay there's no option to say no but you can pick either one of them okay now once you've done that you've gotten her saying yes now once you plan the date get her picturing it first so what I like to do is I like to kind of describe what's gonna happen rather than me just saying hey let's get a drink at this bar I'll say um, something like 
you, uh, I'd love to, I'd love to sit down, have a beer with you, and you can tell me all about your interesting travels, something like that. Okay. Now she's picturing sitting down, having a beer, and talking with you about her travels. She can picture it very, very clearly in her head. So the more easily you paint a picture. Uh, the more likely it is she's going to show up because now she can really picture it and it, there's not too many unknowns. She's not going to get as scared. Okay, so um, now the next part is super important. A lot of guys don't freaking do this. A lot of guys will say things like, hey, we should hang out sometime. Don't ever fucking say that shit, okay? You need to make the plans. You need to pick a date and a time, okay? Pick a date, time, and location. Those three things, man universally women complain about men not doing this okay when men are like saying hey we should hang out we should do this and they're expecting to get the girl to confirm even before they've made plans so make freaking plans dude pick a date time and place and once you do this you know see if she's going to agree to it if she starts giving you wish-washy answers or something like that okay well then you probably should make other plans or maybe send her a text message saying if she says if she sends you something like oh i don't know i'll let you know and that's all you're getting then just be like okay cool well i'm gonna make plans hope you have a good day literally that'll let her know that she if she has to show up she has to agree to this or you're not gonna see each other and you don't put up with that shit. that's actually a pretty high value thing to do Okay, cool. So you, you set the date and the time. Um, now you need to follow up. So if you met this girl uh, on Monday and made plans to meet up with her on Friday, well, if you don't message her anything between those days, she's not showing up for that date, you know? You have to just stay in her mind. Like She's just going to assume that you're going to flake. So what you need to do is I, you don't have to send her, hey, are we on for Friday? Are we on for Friday? Every single day. But I would just send her a message every now and then, you know? I would say every other day is probably good, but I, I send messages every day sometimes too if I'm really excited to see a girl. And I'm not constantly checking and confirming to see if she's gonna be there. I'll send her something funny one day, I'll ask her how she's doing another day, blah, 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 blah. You know, you can mix it up, okay? Just make sure you're staying in her mind. Okay, cool. Um, and then the last thing, guys, is that rather than inviting her to dates and trying to organize that and making plans that way, you can do a different tactic, which I use a lot too. So for girls that have, you know, numbers that I've gotten that I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make definite plans with, I'm always inviting them to stuff. So even if I'm just going out on a Friday or Saturday night, I invite her to like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm heading out to this, like, what are you up to this weekend, blah, 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 I'm going to this place. Um, and then I invite her to come to something. Maybe it's a party. Maybe it's just me going out with my friends. Maybe it's uh, sometimes I'll have events at my place too um, that I can invite her to. Even if she doesn't show up, it's still a positive for you. It's still a positive that she's like, that you're doing cool shit and she's kind of seeing that you're doing that stuff. And so eventually she's probably going to be like, damn, I should really show up and hang out with Lloyd. Um, and so that way she didn't necessarily flake on you. You didn't make plans with her and had to cancel things and ruined your schedule. You were going to do that stuff anyway. And it would have been nice if she showed up, but if she didn't totally fine. So that's the final way that I would say that you can cut down on the amount of flakes is by not inviting them and not, not making those definite plans, but inviting them to cool events that you're going to do anyway. That way, you know, if she doesn't show up, it's not a big deal. It doesn't affect your schedule. I know a lot of you guys are pretty busy out there. I am too. Uh, so that's one tactic that I use sometimes too. Okay, cool. That's all I have to say about this, you guys, for flakes. If you guys have any questions about this, put them in the comments section below. I'm looking for people in my group and one-on-one -on -one coaching programs. Like I said, my live training program is out there too. There's going to be a free survey that I'd like for you guys to do. So if you want to call with me, fill out the survey down below uh, and we'll get that started. Thanks a lot, you guys. Good luck out there.